everybody. Here we are at the Clark County Humane Society. This week for the Cat of the Week, I have Princess. Princess is a five-year-old domestic short hair, tortoiseshell colored cat. She's a friendly girl, but a little on the shy and quiet side. Like so many cats, they kind of like to keep to themselves at times, and then when they want to make their presence known, they definitely will. She's not all that much of a cuddly cat or wants to be held, so if you want a cat that might just hang around your house, um, pop in and out as she pleases from room to room, Princess might be the kitty for you. She's one of the unfortunate uh, reasons why we are here as a shelter. Princess was adopted many, many years ago, not from here, but um, from someplace out of state. And the family moved, took her with the first time, and then from that point on, she was just kind of passed along from family to family. We do ask that when you fill out adoption applications, you realize that you're making a commitment to these animals and, their, and to their care for as many years as they will be around. Cats can live to be 15, 20 years old at times, so even though Princess is five, she has a good 10 to 15 years possibly ahead of her. She would like a very patient family to adopt her. Uh, we do probably recommend that she be given some time alone at first to adjust to her surroundings, so make sure she can find the litter box and her food dishes, and then let her go so that she can just kind of get comfortable. Keep her inside, keep her safe, and in her own amount of time, she'll come around and be a good pet for you. She's not going to be a kitty that is your constant companion after that first day. She is going to take a little time to adjust. So be patient with her and you'll be rewarded with a wonderful addition to your family. Loud noises probably will be startling to Princess, so we're not sure if kids would be the best of match for her. A quiet home, maybe an elderly person looking for a companion, would be great for Princess. She has lived with other cats and didn't care for them all that much. So being the only pet in the home would also be wonderful for her. She is spayed, up to date on all her shots, and microchipped, so she is ready to go. Feel free to stop in at the Clark County Humane Society to meet Princess or fill out an application for her online. She's a beautiful girl who needs another chance. So I'm hoping that the family is out there for her and will come for her soon. So this is Princess. Hello everybody, we're here at the Clark County Humane Society. This week, for my dog of the week, I have Kay. Kay is a three-year-old Beagle Red Healer mix. She is a puppy mill dog, so she's going to be a little timid, a little shy, and most likely a little scared. She is also a very sweet and affectionate girl, and really loves and craves human companionship. She's terrific with other dogs. The other two that she came in with, Kay and Eugene, she's the best of friends with. So she would do very, very well in a home with a fenced-in backyard and another dog to play with. She also would like a nice and comfortable lap at night to maybe rest her head on and a nice chair to take a nap in. She's had a rough life these past three years. When she came in, she had a very large and open wound on her stomach. We're not sure how long that was there and it was not treated until our vet saw her. But even throughout that, she was a happy and content girl with us. There is no sign of aggression in Kay whatsoever. She probably would, would be good with cats. I see no reason why she would get excited about them. And like I said before, she is great with other dogs. We would not recommend her to a home with small children because there is a danger that if she would get loose, she would be very difficult to catch. Uh, they don't exactly know their names. They don't come when they're called. Plus, she is a beagle. And you know beagles. They follow their noses wherever they can go so she might wander off. Children also could be loud and possibly scare her. So that's why we're looking for a more quiet home. Uh, she doesn't have to be the most active dog, but a nice walk would be very, very good for her. Like I said, she's sweet. She's shy, but she's going to make a great companion for somebody out there. We're hoping that she finds a home soon. She's been here about a month, and that's long enough for her. She needs more freedom, and room to explore in a safe manner. So if you are interested in adopting Kay, please stop in at the, at the Clark County Humane Society to meet her, or you can fill out an application online. Her adoption fee is $60 plus tax. We had her spayed a few weeks ago. She's updated on all her shots, and she is microchipped. So she's all set. The vet has seen her, has looked her over, and she's doing well since um, she came in. 
So we think she'd make a fantastic pet for almost any kind of quiet family out there. So once again, this is Kay, our pet of the week. Are you looking for a furry new addition to your family? If you would like to adopt a new pet, Clark County Humane Society always has a wonderful selection of friendly, healthy, clean and well cared for pets just waiting to share your heart and home. Stop by and see all of the wonderful animals available for adoption. After finding your new best friend, simply fill out the application form available at the shelter or on our website www.cchs dash petshelter.org. Our adoption committee will then review your information and our adoption counselors will help you to get ready for your new cat or dog. Clark County Humane Society is located seven and a half miles southeast of Nielsville on Highway 73. Our open hours are 12 to 3 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. We welcome you as a visitor to our facility anytime during our open hours.